We've looked at combining functions by adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing functions. We're now looking in this video at the last way to combine two functions. And we call it the composition of two functions. So let's jump straight into the definition. If I've got two functions, f and g, the composition, and we denote it by a little open circle, it's not the letter O, so this does not say fog, it's f composition g of x, is defined as follows, f of g of x. Now, what does this notation mean? We know, and I've got two functions, f and g, that I'm going to work with to find compositions, but just to go back a little bit, if f of x is the function x squared, then f of 5 means put 5 into the place of x, so it's 5 squared. f of b is just b squared. So whatever's in brackets, we put in the place of x, and that's what we're doing. Now, f composition g means put the whole function g of x into my function f where I see an x. So here I've got functions f and g defined. So f composition g of x is f of g of x. So I like to write this step first so that I know what to substitute into what. So I go to my function f. Everywhere I see an x, I now put the whole of g of x. So there's the x. So that's the root of x squared minus 4x minus 2. So I've put g of x. I've substituted g of x into the function f. So that's f composition g. Now take note of the following. g composition f, is that going to be the same? Definitely not. That's g of f of x. So that means I start with my function g. And everywhere I see an x, I now put f of x. So my first thing here with g is x squared. So now I've got the root of x minus 2 squared. Minus 4 times, there's another x. So square root x minus 2. And you can simplify that one a bit. But I just want you to understand the concept of composition. I can always take the composition of a function with itself. f composition f is f of f of x. Meaning go to function f, everywhere you see an x, you now put the whole of f of x. So it's the root of the root of x minus 2, minus 2. Similarly, I can find g composition g of x. So I go to my function g, everywhere I see an x, I now put the whole of g of x. So that's x squared, so it's x squared minus 4x squared. Minus 4 times x squared minus 4x. So that is the composition of two functions. We're substituting one function into another. All right, let's look at some more examples. f of x, 1 over 2x, g of x, 4x plus 5. f composition g of x is then f of g of x, meaning go to function f. Everywhere I see an x, I now put the whole of g of x. And for these, I'm not going to simplify it. You can simplify it if you want. G composition f of x is g of f of x, which means go to function g. Everywhere I see an x, I now put the whole of f of x. And that's the composition. You should also take note of the domains of the composition. It gets a little bit more complicated than the domains of addition, subtraction, multiplying, and dividing. But you need to look at the separate domains and at what function comes out and what that domain would be. For example, if we look at f composition f of x, that's 1 over 2 times 1 over 2x. Now let's simplify that one a little bit. That's 1 over 2 times 1 over 2x, so 1 over 1 over x. That's just equal to x. But the domain of this composition... The domain of f excludes where x is equal to 0. So the domain of this composition will exclude the case where x is equal to 0. So if we had to sketch this composition, it will look like this. That point where x is equal to 0 will be excluded. So it looks like the straight line y equal to x, but it is not the same because we have to look at the domains. Now when I look at composition, I can look at it from a different way. I can say to you, I have just found the composition of two functions. Give me the two functions. So this h is f composition g. So what we need to look at is what function did I substitute into what function? Because f composition g is f of g of x. And if you look at h of x, you can hopefully see that the thing I substituted in, so my inside function, the g of x, 
is 2x plus 1. My outside function, f of x, and I'm just using the word inside and outside because of the way it's written, is something cubed minus 4 times that thing squared plus 5 times that thing minus 6. So that is the composition of the two functions, f and g. So we can take it apart. And when we start looking at differentiation, it's going to be important to be able to see composition of functions, what was substituted into what. But that comes later with differentiation when we're looking at the chain rule. So one more example. I'm giving you h of x. I want f of g, f and g. h of x is g, composition f. So it's g of f of x, which means I substituted f of x into the function g of x. Now, the reason I've got this example here is just to show you that if I take it apart, it's not necessarily a unique representation. I'm going to give you a couple of options. f is what I substituted in. So one option is to choose f as 3x squared plus 1. The function g is then going to be equal to, and I'm writing it's just a different notation for functions because I'm going to have a couple of versions, y equal to 2 over root x. Can you see that that composition, g composition f, will give me h of x? But there's some other options. I could have chosen f as y equal to the root of 3x squared plus 1. Then my function g will be y equal to 2 over x. And there's multiple options. There's some more options. I can let f just be 3x squared. Then g has to be the function one, or 2 over the root of x plus 1. And you can find more. I'm not going to write all of them. One very boring one is to let f be the function y equal to x. And then g is the whole function y equal to 2 over the root of 3x squared plus 1. That's a very boring version, but it's also correct. So you can see there's different ways to take these apart. So take note with the composition of functions. You must be able to find the composition of function, but also take it apart. So that is the composition of functions. Following this, we're going to be looking at different types of functions.